Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a get ready with me and I'm going to talk about some things and everything. <laughs> something and everything. And I am going to use a new palette actually. I'm going to use the Line Crime Preload Chroma. It looks like this. I don't know why <laughs> I really wanted this, but I really did do so. I'm doing something with this and I don't know if this is like a popular palette to do first impression with. So I'm going to use this today. And yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. Or okay, oh, fuck, I took so much eyeshadow primer. I know some things I want to talk about. We can start with one thing. Okay, I maybe just should take on my primer first. So, okay, I... Uh, first thing, first. Um, we... Yeah. The thing you just heard was Astrid, because yesterday we got our new cat, we picked her up and yeah, it has only been not even 24 hours, so they are not friends. It's going better, but we're not friends and I don't know, no, Astrid didn't want to be here. Um, I can, she's sleeping right next to me, our new cat, so I don't want to pick her up, but if she wakes up, I can show you her, or I can put up a picture. Um, we picked her up yesterday, and she is a rag doll, and her name is Ines. And yeah, <laughs> she's so, so small. Like, okay, this shade, mm, I don't know. I like, f have forgotten how small kittens could be. But yeah, she's a ragdoll, so she's going to be a kind of big at least. And Astrid, she's actually really, really big. I took a picture when you can see them both. Astrid was sitting on the floor and Ines was lying in the couch behind her. And the size difference... And Astrid is not even a year old, so... I'm afraid how big she's going to get. But yeah, so I can start to talk a little bit about that. Okay, this color is not even showing. It is this one, and I'm sorry about my hair. You know, the cold weather, it's getting all like frizzy. So, we got her yesterday. In the car home, she screamed a little, but other than that, it worked really good. And I don't know when this video is coming up, but we got her at the 18th, now in December. And uh, yeah, they slept with us both in the bed. So Ines was lying between me and my boyfriend, like between our heads and Astrid was sleeping um, on my foot down we on down besides my feet uh, she always do that <laughs> um, they woke me up at five this morning so I'm pretty tired today and I was like trying to go back to sleep, but it, it didn't work. So I went up at five, started Disney Plus watching Sleeping Beauty, the original one. And yeah, that has been my day so far. And I hope it doesn't continue like this because then and now Astrid is playing with something. And 
it actually feels a little bit strange to have a cat that can hear things. Because if you didn't know, Astrid, she's deaf. I hope I said that right. And she can't hear like, she's 100% deaf, so she can't hear a single thing. And we are used to that, so we like don't, if she sleeps, we can do as much sound as we want to. But now, when we have Ines as well, she hears everything. And I wonder how long it will take before we like remember that and maybe be a little bit quiet. So, yeah. But it's going good so far. It could have been so much worse. They haven't done anything like... They haven't gotten into a fight or something like that. They have just... I don't know what it's called. Yeah, the thing that Astrid did before. They do that to each other. But it's just how it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> not even been a day. And now I have filmed for like uh, over five minutes and all I've talked about is cats. The main thing I wanted to talk about in this video is about my low buy slash no buy that I'm going to do next year. I've talked a little bit about it before. And I have decided to do a no buy for three months in the beginning of next year so in january february and march i am going to do a no buy and after that i will see like how i feel if i want to continue maybe one month more with my no buy or if i want to get into a low buy. I don't know yet. I just have to see like how it feel to have a no buy and I'm thinking of having a no buy both for like skincare and for makeup. Of course for makeup. And if I run out of anything I'm going to buy something new. Like if my cleanser runs out I'm going to buy a new cleanser. But nothing like I don't need and I right now I feel good about it and I feel like excited to do it maybe that sounds a little bit strange but the latest I have shopped makeup like a crazy person I think you I don't know what is coming up first because I did actually record a little Black Friday haul and I have shopped makeup like crazy f on Black Friday and I am I am in the sa I have the same feelings uh, as I had in December or that I had in 2018 that I am overwhelmed by my own collection and I don't always think it's fun to sit down and play with makeup and I don't want to go back to that because this is my hobby and I know that I love to do this. So I want to come back to that and I also want to be better to play with all the things I have because I have so many amazing palettes that I maybe used like two times or maybe like four times because I'm doing a first impression and then I do a free looks one palette and then I don't use that anymore and I I don't like it. Okay, this color, I used Cypress on <laughs> this one. I like it, but it takes like forever to build up to anything. But I like it, but it maybe not the most pigmented shade I have ever worked with if we... I can say it like that. Okay, I also want to take it like a little bit out here. And then I'm going to do a lot of shimmers on my lid. And... I am not worried how having a no buy will affect my channel. 
Okay, I've been thinking if I want to take this up or not, but I think I'm actually going to do the, this and I hope that you will understand me. I am not like growing at all on YouTube right now as I'm filming this and I don't think it will change until this is up. I losing subscribers and my watch time is going down and my views are going down. And I always said that it doesn't matter to me. And in one way it doesn't because <laughs> there is a lot of like same people that come in on my videos and I like to talk to you in the comments and it's fun to see people that commenting on like many of my videos and I feel a connection to you. And I am happy about that. I'm really happy about that. And I think it's so fun. And even though it might take long for me to answer a comment, I love all your comments. And I am still happy for that. But at the same time, like, I... I don't want to grow, but at the same time I want to. A subscriber count isn't that important to me. Um, but like it's it's never fun like now in December when I have put up I'm trying to put up a video each day and I'm losing subscribers that is not fun and I'm going to be honest about that and I'm like okay, I I know that I'm never going to have a big channel and I don't care that much because if they want this to be a hobby I would never have like to depend on YouTube as an income because then I don't think it would be fun for me but at the same time it's never fun to like lose subscribers especially not when I'm trying to post as much as I do and I don't want it to affect me and it usually doesn't but now I'm just in a bad place. I don't know if it is because of the pandemic or if it's just because in Sweden we don't have seen the sun like in a month. I don't know if it is because of that or I don't know. Um, but it is like starting to... I don't feel as motivated anymore. And I guess that I will come out of this. And feel motivated again. I hope. But. Yeah. I hope that you understand what I mean. Because having like. A lot of subscribers. Has never been. A goal. Um, with my channel. Because then I. Think I would. A lot different things. But at the same time, it's never fun to, like, lose subscribers when you're posting as much as I do. And I know there is a lot of people that are posting each and every day now in December. And I get that that is, like, why um, my views aren't that good. Because you maybe want to watch someone else instead of me. It's totally fine with me. But I really hope that you get what I mean. Okay, now I'm going to take a nymph. This one and put it on the rest of my eye. And I don't know if I maybe should take a glitter primer. No, I think this works. Um, so then I'm like, okay. <laughs> fuck it, I can do... My channel will not be affected by having a no buy. Or a low buy, because... When I'm not having it, <laughs> it's not makes like any difference to my channel. So yeah, that's why I've decided, and also because I want to feel happy again about doing makeup, and also some things that I am thinking about changing about my channel next year. I think I will not or no longer have a schedule. I have tried to post four videos a week and I think I will just 
post whenever I feel like it. And I don't know if it is because of December. This has really like worn me out. I'm not finished yet and I really hope that I can like pull through and I know how it sounds and I know that you are not going to be disappointed in me if I don't post every day but I want to do it for myself. I want to like show myself that I can do it um, even though it is kind of hard right now and I I just don't know why. It feels like I've lost like what I think it's fun with YouTube or I've lost what I think it's fun with my channel and I want to find that again. So next year I or I going to try to have like New Year's resolution for myself and I want to try to use makeup more often. And uh, I want to like, I, I am not going to wear makeup to work because I don't have time for that. Because I, I don't want to go, go up, <laughs> go up at 4 a.m. just to do makeup. Um, but like I want to do more makeup like after work. But it's like my motivation, I think I just need vacation from work, <laughs> it can be that easy and I need to go to bed earlier but it's like I can come home at like 3 in the afternoon and my boyfriend usually comes home around 4 because he starts an hour later than me. So I w should have time to like make a video before he comes home and then I can hang out with him but it's like I don't have the energy to do it so it just ends up with me sitting in the couch scrolling on Instagram watching YouTube play video game or something or <laughs> just some days I just lie in the bed like the whole day after work and I know that is how I work. I have like accepted that, but at the same time, I don't want to be like that too often. And right now, it feels like I am. But like, I don't know what is the problem. Um, so I want to like maybe not record every time I do a makeup look. Maybe that can be a solution. I don't know. Or maybe just for me to sit down and do more Get Ready With Me, talk about how I'm feeling and still be focused on makeup but not like on first impressions and everything like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know even where I'm going with this. But you like my Get Ready With Me, so I know that even though I am confused. As this in normal cases, but I just want to be more like relaxed with my YouTube channel next year, to not have a schedule, just put out a video when I want to, and I also want to try to use the makeup I have more. And now I'm just going to take away the fallouts, I'm going to wet my sponge, and then I come back and I'm going to tell you about some ideas I have for next year. Okay, so are you ready? to see Ines! Hi! Hello cutie! Here she is! So, she's so freaking small and she has blue eyes. Of course because she is a ragdoll and she's a little bit sleepy I think. But this is how she looks. She is brown tab emitted and now she's cleaning my face. Thank you. Um, she is going to be more, have more color when she grow up, uh, according to the breeder, or she thought that because her parents was like white when they were small and they then they got their color, but she's a bit brown on the ears and the tail is a bit brown. Yeah, so here she is, our new little baby, and she is so 
this she is so tiny yeah the Vilo, you want to be close hi so yeah here she is or you want to be on the bed yes so <laughs> now you have met now you have met Ines as well and Astrid I don't know where she is and that is like we can't call an Astrid a little bit far away um because she can't hear so now Astrid is coming as well maybe we can see if I can get her up but I think she's coming to you not be liking it because Ines is over there I am a crazy cat lady you just have to bear with me okay I try to get Astrid here but she doesn't want to come Ines is just coming so okay but Astrid you had seen before and mm, she's not liking this and Ines I don't like that you chew on my studio light Maybe soon I have a studio in my face and now Astrid is coming. And they are like this. Yeah. Astrid wants to play. Ines does not want to play. And then they switch. And I don't know what's up with them. But the thing that is good is my boyfriend is off work for three weeks. Now during Christmas and New Year's. So, he is going to be home with them the whole time, so, and that was like the plan, so that feels good, and I know there is like a lot of different um, ways you can like bring two cats together, but we... I have always done like this and if Astrid is too much we try one of us try to be with her but we we're not going to like separate them because we just don't do that if you do it when you get a new cat you can but of course we'll let Ines like show her where to go to the toilet and everything like that alone yesterday when we got home but after that they have been allowed to be in the same room and as long as they don't hurt each other it's working so yeah now Astrid is lying over there staring at Ines maybe I should name this get ready with me get ready with me talking about cats because this that is everything I do. I just took two primers right now. So I took um, the e.l.f. Poreless Powder Primer on my nose. And then High Gloss Prime from NYX. That's why I look so freaking glowy. I'm so going to put a foundation over. And I'm going to use the bear with me. And I've heard like in my videos my chair is making a lot of noise. It's not me farting. Yes, you know. And... Where was I? Yeah, uh, next year. I'm not going to have a schedule, I at least think. The only thing like I'm a little bit worried about with not having a schedule that it's not coming up any videos. But we will see how it will go. I just want to be like in a better place and now I'm going to use the viewfinder for this. And also want to have more like weeks on my channel so maybe have a like okay maybe i should just take on the foundation and then continue talk <laughs> i always hate how it looks when i put on my foundation even though this is a light coverage this is a tinted skin wheel from nyx it looks like just hello I don't have any shape of my face and I know it's like the camera's white balance is going a little bit bonkers with this and now Ines is chewing on her own tail and Astrid is 100% concentrated on her
Yes, okay, I am thinking about doing more like weeks uh, on my channel, so maybe like an HPT week. So I use, I have four palettes from HPT, so I use each of the palettes in one separate video, so I get four days that week and stuff like that. Because I, as I said, I want to use my collection more and I know a lot of you that are watching me have some of the same palettes as I do and a palette is still good even though it's a little bit older and now I think Astrid Astrid is coming. Should we see if she wants to say hi? So here we have Astrid. I can't turn around because then she looks at Ines and is angry. So <laughs> this is Astrid now. Do you see how big she is? And she's not even a year old. Hey. So yeah. A Maine Coon cat can grow until they are five. So I guess we're going to have a monster at home. Okay, <laughs> I got interrupted by a little kitten that do things she are not allowed to do. No, she's just crazy. She's playing with a pillow. Okay, I forgot how it is to have a kitten. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, so I'm planning on having weeks and also like play a lot more with my palettes that I have at home. And... One thing, I'm going to do a palette collection. I'm planning on doing that when all the palettes I have ordered has arrived. I still haven't got two palettes and uh, I don't know when that will happen. But I'm thinking on doing a palette collection then and then I'm going to see how many palettes I do have and I had like a crazy idea of trying to use all the palettes I have at least one time next year and the palettes that I don't use I might shoot the clutter but I don't know like I came up with that and then I was like eh, no but maybe that is a good idea I have no freaking idea if it is a good idea, a bad idea. So I'm going to put on a blush and I'm going to use the blush that is in this palette from uh, Lethal. This is the blush in I'm going to check, Nectar. So that is my plan to try to use all the palettes more and I, I want to do a palette collection. God damn, this was a lot of blush. But at the same time, I don't because one part of me do not want to know how many palettes I have. Because I just don't. So yeah, that is like the plans I have for next year. We will see how it will go. I have no idea like what you want me to do, but I know that it is a lot of you that watch me that like when I'm using older palettes because you have this palette yourself and you might do not know what you want to do with it and then I give you some inspiration and that's always... I, I like don't know what to answer when you comment on my videos and same like I am giving you inspiration that is still like so unreal for me that I can inspire someone to do a makeup look and okay I'm going to go off cam and do my brows and maybe my under eyes as well and then I guess I'm going to choose a red lip for that so I will fix the last things with my base and then I come back so this is my finished look I took Colourpop's peach fuzz in my waterline and on my lips this is the first time I'm using this this is a NYX lingerie push-up in the, they had this as a liquid lipstick before I didn't like it I had it then and this is a pen 
And apparently this is going to plump your lips and do you know what? I can feel it because it burns and it smells like peppermint. I'm not a fan. And I don't know if the color is that good either and I... Mm, my lips are burning. And that was all for this Get Red With Me. I hope that you liked it. It feels like I've talked about cats for like... 80% of this and then a little bit about my channel but yeah next year she almost tilted the studio light next year I am going on a no buy for free month in the beginning of the year and then I will see I will of course update you how I feel and how that no buy is going and I will also try to have like weeks on my channel and I will not have a set schedule where I will at least try to see how I feel about that if it feels good or not if I still post or not but I like want to find a joy to makeup again and I really hope that this can help me so yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel I have to watch Ines because now I don't know, and Astrid is there if you hear some noises. So yeah, that was all for this video. Now I think I want to take this off because it burns like hell. And uh, so I do not recommend these. But maybe it stops after a while, I don't know. But right now it doesn't feel comfortable at all. But like how could I miss it? But at the same time, it doesn't say that it is plumping it's just laundry push-up and i don't think the liquids were um plumping because i bought this because i didn't like the formula and i like the color on this one so yeah that was all for this video if you're not subscribing to my channel please do and be nice to me in the comments because i I hate to talk about like subscribers and view time and everything but I want to be honest with you and I want to like yeah I don't know and now I think it's a fight is going on it's getting started but yeah I really hope you like this video and I hope that I will see you tomorrow bye